fucked all my friends inside this UFO. <laughs> Melvin, hey, hey let Melvin. us out. Oh, crap. Open here, open Come on. Door. This is the only way out, folks. I'll open the door. I'll open the door. But there's no such thing as a dirty UFO. Aliens are meticulous creatures who keep their spaces tidy. So before I could even consider letting you guys out, clean up the spaceship. Are you kidding me? You are too. I don't know what they're saying, but they don't look happy about this. He's in like a heightened emotional state. Okay, let's just let's just do what he says. Let's clean this place. I think if we clean it, he'll be yeah. okay. Okay, Daniel's right. okay. stuff is everywhere. How rude and evil of me, right? Well, I'm only doing this because they ruined my day. I am currently mourning the loss of my pet turtle Fluka, the first ever spy ninja pet. Buckle up, Fluka. We're going on an adventure. And so my goal was to escape and find the perfect resting spot for my dearly beloved Fluka. I traveled far and wide to be able to get out of the place that I call home. I want Fluka to see the world because pretty much all she saw was the inside of her tank and my bathroom and whatnot. But for someone as popular and as amazing and as special as Fluka, she deserves to see the world. So I traveled and traveled and that's when I came across this peculiar sight. An orange spaceship in the middle of the desert? Yes, boy! I love alien culture and everything that has to do with it. And thus forth, I traveled yonder to find out more about it. And that's where I learned so much information about this UFO structure. So Fluka, I definitely did some research about this. I believe that this B&B was actually constructed in the 1960s. This building is known as Area 55. And it was conceived in 1968, which is one year before the Apollo moon landing. I mean, this is a pretty awesome UFO Airbnb. We've been staying in it for days. I'm ready to leave. Yeah. And it's gonna get hot soon. We We're gonna to die in here. We need to get out. We need to make him understand that. And now here we are. I'm just getting a little bit of payback on my friends for crashing my grieving. <laughs> I know they want to be all sweet and nice and make sure I don't grieve alone. But, you know, I just gotta get him back a little bit. That's my style. Look at this imbecile. It's clean! I'll send you a picture! Yeah, look how clean it is. Now that the spaceship is clean, you guys need to protect your brains against all the gamma and theta waves that your brain might experience from being in outer space. So I've left behind some aluminum foil, and you better make the best brain protection you can out of it. Dios mio. Yeah, what they don't know is that the reflective side needs to be on the outside. Oh, That's stupid. is that proven to work? I've seen it in movies. Yeah, let's just do it. Come on, it's kind of fun. I mean, oh yeah, why am I doing this part two? Okay. <laughs> well, simple. I actually just don't know how to experience any kind of loss. Yep, he seems like he is not letting us out. Does this work? Does it look stupid? If you know, you know that I don't really have a lot of connections to this world. My history and my background are so clouded. There's just a lot of mysteries that I still have to uncover in my much. life. And so maybe I'm not the most rational person when it comes to deciding what I do with my friends when they surprise me with things. Oh my gosh. I'm going all the way up. Why? All right, Melvin. We got your tinfoil hats on. Look at everyone so protected. It makes me happy and brings me joy, but that still means you guys are locked inside. I will start letting you guys exit the spacecraft only if you could show me your knowledge of space. Okay. I got this. Oh, okay. Trivia All right. Trivia. Good. Because whoever can answer this one gets to step off the spacecraft. What's a tough one? Okay. What was the name of the first spacecraft that touched down upon the moon? I think I know it. Apollo? Apollo what? 13. It's not 13. It is Apollo. And I am appalled at his performance. It's not... It's not 13? Okay, I swear it's 18. But is it Apollo though? There's a movie with Tom Hanks where he goes to space. That's Apollo 13 and they didn't land on the moon because it was a failed mission. Have you guys guessed it yet back at home? <laughs> Apollo 11? Your hat. It's Apollo 11! Ah! Oh, I said it. I said Good job, Regina! Alright, I'm gonna let her out. Wait, he's making me exit like an alien. Well, do it. Well, I've never met an alien. How do they move? <laughs> You ever see E.T.? 
fun. <laughs> I know. Let's just friggin' go. Why does she get to get out? Because she answered the question right. Yeah, it, but it's hot in here. What was it gonna get do? Danielle, be careful. You're gonna break it. Okay, you better. You let us all out. One more question. One more question. One more question. One more question. Your brain. Protect your brain. You have to answer one more question correctly. No. Okay, thanks, Regina. I'm your buddy now. Yeah, now you can film me. I'm, okay, okay. Sorry for uh, locking you guys in there. You guys owe me for the B&B. Well, Venmo well, you, dude. Well, yeah, but you guys crashed my grievance party. Oh, I thought you were okay with it. Well, I was until I woke up this morning and I was like, how did I let them do that to me? I gotta have a little bit of payback. That's my style. <sighs> Blue. What planet? Daniel! Is known for its signature blue color and, and composition of gas. Neptune! Uh, Mercury. Yeah. Why do you say Neptune, Daniel? Neptune. Wrong! Incorrect! The answer to that one is... Uranus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you called it. You called it. What a... Evil. He's evil. Good That's one. how you can remember it's a gaseous planet. Oh, blue and gassy. What is the proximate age of the universe? Uh, 18,003,746. Infinity! One billion years old. One billion? Closer. Well, whatever. I was looking for a little bit closer. The answer is 13.8 billion years. Oh. I, get, I said over a billion. Is that Daniela? No, no, no. They need to pay for crashing my grievance. Don't you Guys, think? I think they already cleaned up, you know. They look sorry. Maybe we should just let them out. They look like they're locked in there, and they look like they have no space knowledge. Whoa. What? I was technically right, but he said no. These are harsh questions. What is the name of the largest asteroid in our solar system? I don't know! Haley's Comet? Oh, yeah, you might be right, Dane. Wait, wait, you said the asteroid. Uh, asteroid 16? Do, do they have names or something? I don't know anything about asteroids. Do you know this one? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You can't be serious about it. Yeah, I do. Serious. Serious Black. No, that's the name of the asteroid. <laughs> okay. One series! Does that imply there's two series? Wait, it is series! You can't be serious about it. Well, okay, Daniela, you can now exit the spacecraft. Oh <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> right. You freaking cheated. You know what? I'm happy for you. At least we got half of us out of here. Maybe when you're out there, find the remote and open the door for us or something. Okay, yeah, I'm trying my hardest. Yes, yes, it's opening. Now we just wait for this long door to come down. Adds watch time. Insert elevator music. No. They don't use elevators in space. They use gravitational lifts. Daniela! You know why aliens get low? How? Because low gravity. Oh. I don't know. Nice. You're good, not, you're brave. Good for distracting them. Well, too bad I have no more questions for you guys. Oh, well then let us out, I guess. What? No, I got a different one. Since you two are left here piloting the spaceship, there are three alien keys that you must use to finally unlock the passage. Is that alien key? Keys? Yeah, alien keys. Filled me before it closes. <laughs> you need to unlock at least two out of the three for the final door to open. They're hidden somewhere around inside this UFO. Bye! Good luck. Hey, Daniela. Sorry about uh, locking you guys in and yeah, stuff. Yeah, bro. Not cool. But I'm outside now, so it's okay. Well, it is cool because you know that the average temperature of space is below freezing. I did. Oh. I did. Cool. What is an alien key? Key? Uh, well, where would they put keys in a UFO house? Next to the door, right? Well, now that you two are out here, <laughs> I got a challenge between the both of you. Oh gosh, more okay. challenges? All your guys' keys are inside the UFO. Oh can't my drive gosh, out wow, there's more! I'm sorry, I forgot that can't leave yet. You two must challenge each other to create the best 
crop circle in order to signal the mothership. You must signal the mothership with a crop circle. <laughs> Oh, what? shoot! Okay, okay, I got this. Yes, okay. and then I'll get your guys' car keys. My my bad, I'm so sorry. What is that? What is that? I feel like the middle thing looks like a key. That looks like a key. What, they're all together, what? Is this supposed to be like, is this Melvin's alien key? Oh yeah, these are like, Key puzzles or something. Melvin said you unlock the key. I think these are like three little puzzles that we have to like conquer, and then there's like a key or something. Like insert this into like a key slot, maybe, but we have to get it out. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I do really appreciate what you guys did the other day for uh, you know coming all the way out here and looking for me. But I didn't ask. We thought you got kidnapped or something. I don't know. Am I even doing this wrong? Have you ever lost anybody close to you? Um, yeah, I have. You know, grief isn't a linear process, and everyone does it differently. I guess maybe you just needed some space, and we could have given that to you if you just communicated it to us, maybe. Wow, it's really that simple, huh? Yeah. It's too simple. It can't be that easy. You're falling behind. Okay, we gotta find a way to make these not tangled. We gotta find a way to maybe make this spike ball come out. So I'm assuming I gotta untangle these, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I just did it. <laughs> wow, I did it. So we got one of three. Okay, oh my God. Yes. Wow, that was good. Okay, Melvin, see, he can't set up his He don't have no time. Melvin, you ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Hey. Like a ritual or like a, are they carving? Wait, wait, wait aliens. Crop circles. Crop circles, they're making crop circles in the crops. You like my crop circle? Can't even see it right now. Oh my gosh. Why, are you proud of it? Yeah, it's amazing. You probably never had to deal with loss ever. You know what, Melvin? I have been dealing with a lot of grief this year. That's it's, it? It's very oh. hard. <laughs> what do I do to finally get over Fluka? It's not just gonna happen in a day, or maybe even ever. But with time, it does get easier, and you realize that no matter what, the people that you lost are always gonna be with you in your heart. You know, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of you and Daniela always having the right things to say to me. <laughs> Can you guys be wrong for once? What? It's okay, we all deal with grief differently. And I know you're going through a hard time, so we're here for you. I'll do any challenge you want me to do if it makes you feel better. Maybe you help me bury Fluka here. You, you were talking about Disney World, right? Did Fluka always wanted to see Disney World? Yeah. I don't know, that seems kind of cool. Think I should take Fluka out there? I don't know, I think that'd be fun. Yeah, you know what? I'm liking that. And then maybe that's where I'll bury her. I don't know if that's allowed, but yeah, let's do it. Wait, no, that's silly. Yeah, that's illegal. Sorry, <laughs> I just, that was a fun idea. Oh gosh, the girls need our help. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm dying in here, bro. It's getting hot, dude. It is. Melvin does not understand. Um, oh, wait okay, a minute, yeah, wait. yeah. Wait, look, the gap between the bars, right here, these two bars have a huge gap. Oh, sorry, Ooh. I'm like allergic to something in here. Oh, okay. I think you're on to something with the width of the bars. My hands are so sweaty now, I can't even grip the Yeah. It's impossible, brother, and Melvin wants us to die in here together. He doesn't want Fluka's ashes to be buried in any random place. He wants it to be special. You know what? He wants our ashes to be buried with her. That's what he wants. That's why he locked us in here. Wouldn't be surprised. That kind of sounds like Melvin. He's all about the grand spectrum. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh! 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 You did it! You did it! <laughs> yeah, boy! Okay. We did it! We did it! We did it! Oh, we did it! We figured out your locks. I don't know. I think the girls already figured that out for me. They know the key to my heart. Let's just try to stay cool. I'm taking my jacket. Windows don't seem like they're gonna be broken, but there's other ways out of here, I bet. I think so, how? Like, I don't know, let's look under 
Oh! Yeah, right, like if this was a real alien spaceship, as I've, as I've seen in the movies, they got like a, a blowhole. Yeah. The, like where they abduct people. The light. The light. Yeah, this. That's it. Oh, there's a spinning fan up there. I'm not going up on that. Oh, no, that's oh, wait, a little wait. choppy in here. All right, ladies, time's up. Let's see whose crop circle is the best chance at summoning the mothership. It's two turtles. But one of them is Fuka, and the other one is Melvin in his next life. <laughs> you guys are hugging in a turtle way. You're, you're so silly. I what? said to do a crop circle, and then you did turtles. Well, I mean, it started off as a circle. Bro, that's just a rug, dude. Oh! Whoa! This is not a toy emergency use only. Sounds like something a liar would say to keep us in. <laughs> this is my crop circle. Do you like it? It's a crop circle, but it. You see it? Looks like a turtle again. I'm telling you guys, it's crop circle, not crop turtle. Well, I guess Danielle and I were on the same wavelength. Yeah. We just wanted to honor Fluka. Because we're wearing these, we have the same wavelength. Yeah. Be careful. Oh. oh. If you cross wavelength, sometimes they cancel out. You're right, Melvin, that's definitely Melvin's handwriting. Should we do it? Unlock. Unlock. Wow, that's very sweet actually, and it's a nice job. You guys you guys made turtle crop turtles today and it's actually more than I anticipated. Aww. Yeah, you guys are right. I'm being such a I'm being such a I'm I'm being I'm it's, being such a It's fine Melvin. We are here for you through it all. Yeah, don't feel guilty for how you process. You're fine. We're, we're having a great time. Are you guys mad at me about all this? Nah. No, nah. it's okay. I mean, maybe I'd say something else if I was stuck in the UFO like the boys, but, <laughs> but right now I'm fine. We're free. Yeah. And technically, we did crash your party. Yeah. So. Well, hey, I think you guys are allowed to crash anything of mine's. Hey, okay. thank you. <laughs> we'll be at your house next week. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's just get the boys out of here and let's go back to Vegas. Sorry for all the trouble. Okay. Thank Glad. you guys for what you did. Well, I feel good. Okay, thanks to you guys. <laughs> to the UFO. Yeah. What? Freedom. All right, see Melvin? We took it out of your stupid... I'm not wearing this. No, Melvin. Wait, how did you guys get out? I was going to open the door for you guys. I did... Oh. Stop. Dude, we were gonna overheat in there. Free. You're playing these little games. Let's just go to the. Yeah, but I just wanted to talk. Well, stop, guys. Calm what down. The heck? You Dane? keep getting in my way. You're trying to cause a problem here for the camera. I just wanted to tell you that. Oh, I'm yeah. freaking no. sorry. Oh, oh, oh my god, Melvin. Dane. No. Melvin. No. 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 No.